Welcome to Kanigai National High School, 7th Completion and 5th Graduation Ceremony 2022, with the theme, K-12 Graduates, Pursuing Dreams and Fostering Resilience in the Face of Adversity, the Virtual Ceremony. Guest speaker, Engineer Novik Samiliani, Kaningai National High School Faculty, Junior High School, Kaningai National High School Faculty, Senior High School, Kaningai National High School Administrative Staff, Grade 10 Shale Completers, with their advisor, Sir Gijon B. Tagarda. Grade 10 Quartz Completers with their advisor, Ma'am Fidela J. Attenda. Grade 12 Humanities and Social Sciences Graduates with their advisor, Sir Edwin S. Valiagomesa. Grade 12 Computer Systems Servicing Graduates with their advisor, Sir Edison V. Labe. Please rise as we show patriotism to our country by singing the Philippine National Anthem. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiging, Diyos ang sinatanan, Alam ng puso, sa dikit mo'y buhay, Upang hinihinan, Sa mandulupi, di ka pasisigil Sa nagadak, tutok sa simoy at sa langit kong pangraw Ay hinagang tulad, awit sa pagkaya minamahal Ang isang kapatawa at mo'y tatumpay na nagtinitin Ang pituwin at araw niya kay nagpang ay di magtitinit Lumad ang araw na buhalagin pagsinta DepEd Vision. We dream of Filipinos who passionately love their country and whose competences and values enable them to realize their full potential and contribute meaningfully to building the nation. As a learner-centered public institution, the Department of Education continuously improves itself to better serve its stakeholders. DepEd Mission. To protect and promote the right of every Filipino to quality, equitable, culture-based, and complete basic education where students learn in a child-friendly, gender-sensitive, safe, and motivating environment. Teachers facilitate learning and constantly nurture every learner. Administrators and staff, as stewards of the institution, ensure an enabling and supportive environment for effective learning to happen. Family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged and share responsibility for developing lifelong learners. DepEd Core Values Makadios, Makatao, Makakalikasan, at Makabansa To lead the opening prayer, let us listen to Sir Gideon B. Tagarda, Teacher 2 of Kaningai National High School. Let us put ourselves in the presence of the Lord as we pray. Heavenly Father, bless these students as they embark on the next journey of their lives. We pray that the same hand that has kept them far will continue to be in their lives. Surround them with your grace. Bless them with hope so they move into the future with eager and open hearts. Help them to put the knowledge, skills, and insights 
gained through their education to use for the good of all mankind, inspire them to believe in the goodness of life even when faced with challenges and difficulties. As they commence with their lives, may they grow ever more grateful and wise. All this we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. To deliver her welcome address, we have Kia T. Takada, a grade 10 quartz student with high honors. I am honored and blessed to speak before you today on behalf of my fellow completers and the graduating class of school year 2021-2022. To the pillars in support of this beloved institution, our school division superintendent, Ma Marcette B. Sabaloka, C. Susix, our motherly district supervisor, Ma'am Cleopatra C. Alegrado, our principal, Ma Mona Lisa E. Canyonera, beloved teachers, dear parents, fellow completers, and the graduating class of school year 2021-2022. Ladies and gentlemen, good day. Today marks the culmination of a new verge to the next episode of our educational endeavor. After several years of diligently working on schoolworks such as assignments, examinations, performance output, and the like, we did all this in self-paced for the past two years. At first, we were anxious before we could do this with distance learning. Yet, we survived and we made it with the untiring guidance of our teachers who keep on reminding us to be resolute and optimistic to our ultimate goal. Thank you, their teachers. Thank you to the people behind us, especially to my sister, our family, friends who fueled us with prayers and numerous motivation and encouragement. And above all, thank you, Lord God, for making all things possible. The past two years we've spent in junior high school have been nerve-wracking experience for us. It has impacted our normal life. We were confined in our own home. We have no choice than to learn with our mujos alone. Our worry was that technology didn't work in our favor. It was strange to learn at home without our teachers. We craved for their teaching style and assistance. It was a whole new experience for all of us. This particular marvel is worth remembering because it teaches us lesson. Lesson which mold us into new and better individual. So learn what we can learn in every situation. This make us grow stronger and better when pandemic strikes us again. I am so sure that my fellow completers in the graduating class of school year 2021-2022 are as excited as I am and filled with anticipation on how should the next stage of life should be. Ladies and gentlemen, I am privileged today to welcome you to the fifth graduation in seventh completion ceremony of Kanigai National High School, school year 2021-2022. This event is an achievement, and we are on our way to more challenging opportunity. To the graduating class of this institution, fellow completers, let us all be reminded of this beautiful quote from Michael Josephson. We, he said, Take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go. But don't forget to enjoy the journey. Congratulations to all of us. God bless, good day, and keep safe. For the introduction of the guest speaker, let us be all ears to Sir Edison V. Labe, Senior High School Teacher 2. When you made a good start of your journey, you will end it up right, even the most challenging moment you've been through. Greetings of victory to all of you graduates of Batch 2021-2022, and to the parents and to all the viewers of this virtual graduation ceremony. To help you resemble or foresee what will be your life in the next level of your educational endeavor, it would be an honor to hear from someone who have been a role model of triumph and optimism. Someone who can tell you the different 
stages of a tedious fight for you to assess your strength, evaluate your skills, and make you ready to the next battlefield. Graduated his secondary education here in Kaningay National High School, known before as Kaningay Barangay High School, as class valedictorian year 1987. Proceeded to college at Technological University of the Philippines, Visayas, year 1992, and had obtained his eligibility as licensed mechanical engineer. To enumerate his affiliations history, which demonstrate how passionate he was in upgrading himself in order to compete the demand of the world work environment. 1992 started with the Philippine Airlines ground maintenance. 1994 moved to West Falia Separator Philippines or Centrifuge Service Incorporated as service engineer. 2000 sales business and 2015 appointed as the service head for Singapore, Malaysia and Myanmar for the company currently known as Global Engineering Alliance or GEA Singapore. 2015 to 2018 appointed as one of the board of directors for the entities in GEA Singapore and 2018 up to the current year, he is a business relation manager of APAP region of the GEA Academy. Our very own Kandunyan from Barangay East and pre uh, presently residing in Singapore. Ladies and gentlemen, help me in welcoming a married man and a father of two, our honorary keynote speaker, all the way from Singapore, is no other than engineer Novik Samiliano. To the members of the school administration, headed by Mrs. Mona Lisa Canonera, and the Kaningai National High School graduating class, a wonderful day to everyone. I am Novik Samiliano, and yes, proud to be from Talda Valley. Having the invite to be a part of this ceremony gives me a few things to think about. Would it be appropriate for me to do so? Or I would say, send you some links. Maybe you can watch some good speeches in your convenient time, right? Nevertheless, really felt grateful having the opportunity to recollect this occasion 35 years ago and share with you what it be like after high school from the view of a fellow graduate of Kaningai. On a personal note, I managed to be in Kanduni in the last 2020, Fiesta. Sat there as one of the judges um, school pageant. And guess some of you were part of it. I told Mrs. Gregoria Bombita, my unforgettable fourth year advisor, really admire how Kaningai National High School had evolved. Seeing the students participating, the confidence in them, the way they speak, and carry themselves. Wow, far away from what I knew before. So you're ready to face what is coming next. Graduates, the atmosphere is different for sure. It is done virtually, but don't let it spoil your excitement and fulfillment, crossing another turning point in your career or in your studies, and having the real opportunity 
to decide on what it will be for you after graduation. And hope I could relay my simple thoughts and make some logic on it. Three things I would like to convey to you. First, opportunity. Be an opportunist when it comes to develop and enhance yourself. Maybe you heard this word very often, but give me the chance to emphasize this again. I would recall, and I suppose still related today, what's next after fourth year high school? Some of you may already have or may be aiming to what course to take. On the other hand, doubts kicks in. Are you seeing yourself confident that you are choosing the right one for you? Or only being influenced by others? How about those without means? Those who simply accepted or given up the idea of going forward. Wala chance eh. So why to think about it? Many of those around you will say to dream. Magdamgo ka. It's free. Yes, indeed. It's free. But guys, it gets you nowhere when you do nothing to pursue it. Remembered back in 1987, I graduated valedictorian. But how I would value that as I am exactly on the same situation? College is a dream with no plans, no idea to be there. Kalayo sa Bacolod. Makalabot ka lang sa una sa Bacolod, lipay ka na. Wala git balita kung anuman ang pwede mo. Then it comes. With some help, some luck, got the rare opportunity which I could validate only the time. Baligya, tatay ko kanding. Nagay sa hanon lang. Para may pamasahe. Kuha entrance exam. Common story, right? Committed myself into it. And there my life journey begins. Situation had changed for you though. This is the big real benefit of senior high or joining special programs. You have given a good chance of completing a course, acquiring a market recognized skill. Not only you being ready for employment, but giving you enough time to decide what you really want for your career. Higher education would always be up there on your list. But even in Kandani, within Kandani, options are being made available for grubs, including tertiary education. Great, right? So I really encourage each one of you set yourself a goal and work for it. There is a simple saying that goes, 
waiting for a good and suitable opportunity, it is okay. But make sure to be there, to catch it when it is thrown to you, and work hard for it. Second, be relevant. Don't think that being a graduate today, learning ends for you. Always remember, learning is a lifelong process. Either you decide in pursuing a college degree, which again, I would really encourage you to do so. As the employment world is very challenging, competitive as ever. Or to be contented of what you had, hardly earned from senior high. You need to remember that you should stay relevant. In fact, it applies to everybody. To be successful or to be recognized on what you do, you need to be abreast on developments. In the last years, you yourself had to completely adapt to a virtual cross classroom. Not even you, everybody. Far away from face-to-face, -face, which was a real challenge to make it effective. Before everybody is in doubt, how those new graduates will be like, Considering graduate ng virtual yan, hard to imagine really. But overall, it's simply amazing just to make it happen. Think about your teachers. Most of them are not trained or ready for that at that time. Or I would say, most of us, not even familiar of mobile phone functionalities. Yet, they manage to provide you and prepare you lessons, support you remotely, yeah? and do it sometimes online. This is a great, really great example. Challenges and difficulties will always be there. And it is everywhere. But remember, it helps to mold you. We always try to make the best of what we have, considering the possibilities. Trying to survive from those challenges makes us resilient. Let me use the word that is part of your theme. But resilience may not be a simple word to understand. But to tell you, we Filipinos are very well known for that. Not only because of calamities we frequently faced, but the way we work. To get what we want, we are very well recognized for that here and abroad. Whatever you do, strive to stay relevant. This is how you maintain and elevate your value. Third, be a part of Kandunis progress. Help our town. Your parents and your family would always do their part to support you. Nothing more that they would be proud of than providing you the most of what they could for your success. Please be grateful and respect that. Being a responsible member of the community already accord a great contribution. 
but your success in life, my dear graduates, greatly benefits our town, directly and indirectly. How it could be? You may say, ah, better job opportunities for me is not in Kandani. Maybe true, at least for now. It is limited. But come to think of it, when you prosper wherever you are, so is your family. And when it does, and when it does, you are contributing for company. So, when you think that all you did and what you are going to do is for your own success, think as well or consider that other that our town also depends on you. Last but not least, always spare a thought for your teachers. Their motivation of teaching is not all about the pay. It is as well knowing that they had produced countless successful Kandonians. So what you attain in your career is their merits as well. And of course, your classmates. High school life, a memorable chapter, may be disturbed by the pandemic. Nevertheless, hope it established a lifelong bond. Most of you will go on separate ways, but remember, always remember, this school, our Kaningai National High School, will always be a link for all of us. Graduates, I wish you all a favorable life and a bright future. Work on your aspirations and always ask God's guidance in everything you do. Again, Congratulations, and thank you all. Now, let us witness the awarding of certificate to our guest of honor. Allow me to read to you the citation of the certificate. Kaningai National High School, Barangay Kaningai, Kandoni, Negros Occidental. Certificate of Merit. Presented to Engineer Novik Samiliano for imparting his valuable insights and inspirations to the completers, graduates, teachers, parents, and community members during the second virtual completion and graduation ceremony with the theme K-12 Graduates, Pursuing Dreams and Fostering Resilience in the Face of Adversity. Given this, 30th day of June 2022 at Kaningai National High School, Maine, Kaningai, Kanduni, Negros Occidental. Signed, Munaliza E. Canyonera, Principal One. For the presentation of completers, let us listen to Mam Fidela J. Atenda, Teacher 2 of Kaningai National High School, to be confirmed by Mam Cleopatra C. Aligrado. Public Schools District Supervisor. Madam, my 
Marcia D. Sabaluka, Schools Division Superintendent, represented by Cleo Patras C. Aligrado, Public Schools District Supervisor. I have the honor to present to you the candidates for completion for school year 2021-2022 of Kanyai National High School Union, of whom 34 are male and 39 are female, a total of 73 completing students. I hereby certify that they have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of the junior high school program of the K-12 basic education curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education. Ma'am, they are now ready and waiting for your confirmation. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Department of Education, through the Regional Director of Western Visayas, Dr. Ramir B. Oitiko, through the Schools Division Superintendent, Ma'am Marcet D. Sabaloka, and by the recommendation of the School Principal, Mrs. Monalisa E. Canyonera of Kaningai National High School, Maine, I, Cleopatra Campus Aligrado, do hereby accept and confirm the completion of these 73 candidates, 34 of whom are males and 39 are females, who have been satisfactorily completed the requirements as pre prescribed by the basic education curriculum this school year 2021-2022. And as such, these completers are entitled to receive this certificate with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Congratulations! Here are the completers of Grade 10 Quartz for school year 2021-2022. Jupiter E. Ayo. Kent Francis M. Barnabal with honors. Jericho G. Bayogo. Indian Zaire V. Bernahe Adrian Luis Katakata Keji T. Ejanel Lester John F. Galvan Justin E. Lozada Loi S. Lozada John Paul D. Bagbanwa Christian M. Montano Ricky M. Montano Ambrosio Oxenia Vincent C. Oriel Janmar E. Palencia John Lawrence J. Pesquira Renz Anton B. Sorenio Mark Moses G. Tahanlangit with honors Raiza B. Bilarmino with honors Quendeli D. Bingoy with honors Consolacion E. Kauba with honors Jazel O. Kaunsag Roseanne S. Emperado with honors Sweden Joy C. Galeno with honors April Joy V. Lopez Alma M. Montano Angelica G. Navia Danica C. Oriel with honors Joanne S. Ortega Florlene Lee E. Paskin with honors Mary Jo G. Sorenio Kia T. Takadaw with high honors Twila C. Tesipaw with high honors Abby F. Trespicio Angeline G. Trompeta Angel J. Vergara Mary Jane O. Villarte 
Congratulations, everyone. Here are the completers of Grade 10 Shale for school year 2021-2022. Jolan C. Aboy. Rolijon D. Cabayao. Jason E. Disindario. Robert L. Espares. G. Lord G. Espuerta. J. R. L. Gundao. Jomar C. Jimenez Carlos N. Lozada Jr. Benedicto G. Pama III Jorimar Y. Pritos Kinji O. Pritos Nick Christian O. Pritos April J. P. Swansing Ninio S. Takadao Binji M. Tixon Joshua G. Tongkwa Christine O. Alsada With Honors Robbie May L. Amante With Honors Justin V. Batting Kit Levely T. Diasis With Honors Florence Jane R. Domo With Honors Lovely Rose B. Iramis With Honors Princess S. Espares Cynthia S. Espuso Princess Gail P. Hikilan Reina Lynn M. Ihara Roxanne G. Libuon With Honors Angel Nicole L. Madanget With High Honors Axel Ann A. Minguito With Honors Nicole G. Navia With Honors Christine Shane A. Palabrica With Honors Anna Marie B. Pampag With Honors Prel Karen D. Tiwanak With Honors Angel May T. Tokiro Maya M. Tuting Rika Nea Jane S. Vilasco Congratulations! For the presentation of candidates for graduation, we have Ma Mona Lisa E. Canyonera, School Principal, to be confirmed by Ma Martes B. Rivera, Division Science Coordinator, Division of Negros Occidental. Madam Marcet D. Sabaluca, Schools Division Superintendent, represented by Mom Cleopatra C. Allegrado, Public Schools District Supervisor, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation for school year 2021-2022 of Kalingay National High School Me for Academic Tract, Humanities and Social Sciences, of which 15 are male and 7 are female and TVL tract, computer system servicing of which 18 are male and 27 are female with a total of 67 graduating students. I hereby certify that they have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of the senior high school program K-12 basic education curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education. Ma'am, they are now ready and waiting for your confirmation. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the school's division superintendent, Marcet D. Sabaluca of the Department of Education, Division of Negros Occidental, who has been authorized by the Secretary of Education, Leonor Embryones, through the Regional Director of Region 6, Western Visayas, Ramir B. Oitico, to confirm the graduation of students and upon the recommendation of the school principal, Mona Lisa E. Canyonera of Kaningay National High School, having satisfactorily completed the requirements of the following. Academic track, male 15, female 7, a total of 22 students. TVL track, male 18, female 27, 
a total of 45 students of the senior high school program under the K-12 basic education curriculum. I do hereby confirm and approve the graduation of 67 students of Kalingay National High School for school year 2021-2022. As such, they are now considered K-12 basic education curriculum graduates entitled to receive a diploma with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations! Here are the following graduates of Computer Systems and Servicing School Year 2021-2022. Male, Aloro Makjan F. with honors. Bernabe Ayan Kent V. Kahinta Zian Ken C. Karian Harold Jude A. Yufri Art T. Frias Dennis Lovric L. With honors. Itida Niljan B. Malones Rikimel C. Marcito Radman E. Oriel Paulo A. Pacheco Albert Jr. T. Pilingon Prince Garrett F. Irida Jumari B. Sorinho Chande B. Sorinho Joseph Jr. G. Sumer Alvin D. Villaris Christian J. G. With honors. Isatam Alfred A. Female. Albunyan Shilame N. Alzada Rizame O. Alvarez Kimberly B. Antonio Marjulin O. Asuelo Michel O. Biatingo Shilame G. Bernabe Rose Ann T. With honors. Bingoy Quilin Faith D. With honors. Dahai Elaine Joy M. Duales J. Ann P. With honors. Dohon Chinali D. With honors. Erviti Rienfei V. With honors. Iskalona Rona O. Iskarda Julina A. Isconde Rona May D. Galeno Shane C. With honors. Gomora Ria B. Holieza Galilee Dawn G. With high honors. Hongko Felicity C. With honors. Maming Jesamich Kathleen T. With honors. Ortega Juname. Palabiano Ginajin P. With high honors. Pama Erolen G. With honors. Perido Juna G. With honors. Pritos Mary Chris Y. With high honors. Takadao Vanessa T. With honors. And Tamba Rofa V. Congratulations, graduates. Here are the following graduates of Humanities and Social Sciences School Year 2021-2022 Luigi G. Albito Rico C. Aloro John Mark L. Apolinario Ginard James A. Bacar Nelson T. Katakata Jr. Adrian D. Sintino Daniel G. Cero John Dave T. Diaces 
Alwin O. Didoico, Dominic Kim T. Ijanel, Junel O. Madalag, Archie D. Maranyon, Philippe E. Palencia Jr., Randy G. Paskin, Warlito J. Villajos Jr., Jenalyn M. Capio, Viola C. Condes, Giselle Ann D. Gonzalez, with high honors, Bea P. Hadokana, with honors, Eljane L. Sarsuelo, Jessa Chris P. Tadena, with honors, Rose B. T. Tongkoa, Congratulations! To deliver her farewell address, we have Giselle Ann D. Gonzalez, Grade 12 Humanities and Social Sciences, with high honors. A blessed and joyful day to each and everyone, especially my fellow batchmates, Eminir 2022. Before I shall commence my speech, I would like first to thank my whole family, especially my father, and all the parents out there who never stop and lose hope in believing that we can make this and the world. Our parents are always incredible, supportive, and guiding us and providing us the necessities every day. I would like also to thank my respective teachers who have imparted their wisdom and shared their most precious and dedicated time just to come up in this year's commencement exercise. You had and will always have a great influence to us. Thank you for the great work you did and huge impact you made in young people's life as our teacher. Above all, I want to thank our Heavenly Father for the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that I have. I am lucky enough to speak today and reflect our collective journey in this beyond school, the Kaningai National High School, a dearly loved institution of the poor and a provider of quality graduates. I want to describe this journey as one of a kind. I'm sure all of you have heard this phrase countless over years. Being normalized into a word and phrase that correlates directly with COVID-19. This phrase will be connected to all of us. We are one of a kind. Our class has done something never known before. You see, all of us had a roller coaster ride from week-long quarantines to distance learning, online classes, modular learning, and numerous other things. These roller coaster rides have never seen before in the history of education. That is why I describe this journey as one of a kind. The coronavirus pandemic has caused many high school graduations to be replaced with virtual and other alternative ceremonies. And due to this pandemic, most of us, or all of us, are longing to walk on a carpet, climb up the stage to receive our recognitions and awards, particularly our diplomas. Unfortunately, we cannot do it. However, this pandemic will not stop us to dream for our future. As the saying goes, the sky is the limit. We must spread our wings, flap it strongly, and soar higher. Fellow graduates who are watching online, today is a defining milestone in our lives. We've done it. All the hard work has finally paid off, and we're all ready to take the next big step in life beyond high school. We've all worked hard to achieve our goals, and this is not the end. It's only the beginning to seek our new vistas, dream new dreams, embark on what we are, embracing life with passion, and keep reaching for our star. We have all faced a challenging high school experience that has never happened before, and we overcame it. This COVID-19 will not stop us to achieve our goals and dreams of our life. So I say to all my batchmates, take pride in how far we have come and have faith in how far we will go. And congratulations to us and the year 2022. Good luck and God bless. This time, let us hear the Pledge of Loyalty. Lead by Galilee Don G. Holyesa, Grade 12 Computer System Servicing Student with high honors. Fellow graduates, please raise your right hand and follow after me. Pledge of Loyalty 
With solemn sense of responsibility and steadfast loyalty, we, the graduates of school year 2021 to 2022, do hereby solemnly swear to hold our diplomas as a secured trust, to uphold the name of our school with untarnished honor, to be useful citizens, to serve God with humility and faithfulness, with fidelity to my country and to my fellow men. So help me God. As this virtual ceremony draws to close, let us adhere to the message of appreciation coming from Sir Edwin S. Valiago Mesa, Senior High School Teacher 2. A pleasant morning to all. In behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of Kaningai National High School, we congratulate all completers and graduates, as well as the supportive parents. To all completers and graduates, you have made it. The journey towards success wasn't easy, as the COVID-19 pandemic brought us new unexpected challenges. But through your perseverance, dedication, and hard work, you succeeded. You may not be able to walk up on stage to receive your awards, medals, and certificates and to gather together to celebrate because of pandemic. But always remember that this do not diminish the value of your success. On the contrary, succeeding amidst the pandemic. The volumes of modules that you have finished all nights in days of study and predicaments of getting a good internet connection made your success sweeter. We hope that you continue to shine on your next journey. There will be obstacles, barriers, and adversities along your way. But don't let this hinder in achieving your goal. You have shown extraordinary strength, effort, and dedication in the face of this coronavirus pandemic. You have made your parents proud, and with that, there is no doubt. You will do well in your next adventures in life. So, in behalf of Cunningham National High School, faculty and staff, and administration, we would like to say a heartfelt thanks to everyone who made this completion and graduation a success. A blessed day to everyone. That ends the completion and graduation ceremony of Kaningai National High School. Congratulations, graduates, completers, and parents. The faculty and staff of Kaningai National High School would like to extend their heartfelt thanks and gratitude to the Department of Education officials, guests, parents, and PTA officials for the unwavering support which make this virtual completion and graduation ceremony a success. Most of all, let us be thankful to our Almighty God, our Creator and Savior. Without Him, these things will not be possible. Graduates and completers, be firm in your determination to strive for greatness. We are proud of you.